Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. It was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? What happened? I don't know, attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was. There was a guy there, but. There was some kind of. Some kind of animal. What the hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Uh, because teeth were on top of me, I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Oh, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it, sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. Oh, well, if you were aiming for a cluster of threatening branches, you sure showed them what's what. I just wanted to make sure nothing was coming after us. 
Well, you certainly made sure to waste some ammo. Look, you can't hit shit with those shells unless yeah. you're right up at well, the grill. Maybe I just wanted to scare them off. So what? We're thinking it was just the wind or something? Cause I'm still a little freaked out, you know. Yeah, the wind. Let's go with that. Great. Going with it. All right. So uh lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah. Shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob. Where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, I I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch! Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's probably nothing. God, I left her out there alone. Well. I think we're gonna head to the lodge. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here on a strange uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Well, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! <laughs> So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, 
I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tots. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look, it seems somebody forgot seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. (sighs) 
Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no. Sorry, I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are. So they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead.
Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's It's... Probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You man. don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. Ah, <sighs> uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> a time again, is it? Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. 
Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm, uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, they found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. What happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. 